Hello everyone, Calamity Alpha here, back with you. You feel bright headed now. Once again, playing an another episode of um Biomutant. It's the Scrip Holup. Place is just filled with critters. Yes, it is. dark. <laughs> I'm gonna show up that extra lamp so I can see. Where I need to go through. Leave that scrap behind. All right, so I'm safe for now. Once the volatilization from the nuclear waste evaporated, a volatile gas rose through the soil Beastie, and infested the microwaves beeping. even Toxanol's own buildings. So. In a BC way, put something they in the microwave caused and their own the room. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, we went shopping recently and found the cherry vanilla Coca Cola, which is like my favorite out of all the Coca Colas. Um, <clears throat> so I went and got myself. 12 packs and then Beastie found me the bottles. <laughs> oh boy, I don't like. Oh, get out of the water. I have something for Ethan. It's okay to smile, but growing light. Assassin's Creed, uh... Ah! No! 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 Get me out! Let me out of the water! Oh, I died. Ouch. Assassin's Creed. Alright, so... Idea. Go knock the lid off that sludge truck. It'll fill the place up and you can get up to that entrance there. Ah, okay, so I was just being dumb earlier. Alrighty, here we go. Now we made it up. So this is a hospital. Obviously. Okay, I forgot how to switch to melee. I 
I forgot how to use my sword. There we go. Press X. Okay. Sorry, I haven't played this game in a while. Um, we are still searching for our legendary banana blade. As far as I know. Alright, so that's another elevator. Oh, hi. Oh, look at you! Wait, did I pick it up? I picked it up! I hear another one. Come here, baby! I want to keep it as a pet. I don't want to kill it. They're too cute. I now have a squib. I think that one guy that I talked to had a weapon as well. Um, let's take off. Should be able to see farther soon. and keep all right cool so that gave me some positive aura it looks like the switches need to be turned to match so enough charge can flow through the conductors there we go Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators. Our and weather alarm just went off. <laughs> All right. Well, let's look around. See if there's anything else I need to pick up in here. Doesn't look like it. Let's go back to the elevator. I believe. Right. Unless there's a way up through here. Oh, okay. So back to the elevator. It's a new mallet. A new, uh, melee? Attack speed is very low, though. I like my quick sweep. Blade. Um, where's my... Oh, it's over there. Okay, so. I have fiddled around with my computer settings, and I still cannot for the life of me get the contrast of my computer up Little very lives well. here. You need to line up the switches so they match. You need to line up the switches so they match. Bristles like the hair of one electrified. You need to line up the switches so they match. There we go. First try. Right, Calypso? Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. him why is he going in there 
He says that's enough scripts to sustain the Mecton's claw crane cannon with infinite ammunition. Well done. Oh, dear. That's the special weapon he made to store the scripts in the Mecton. It will be strong enough to launch them at the Jumbo Puff. Yeah, Gizmo's made vehicles before to confront the Jumbo Puff himself, but failed. Hmm. But this time, so it's we're going different. to be launching the our Mecton fluffy little will friends be strong at... enough to do the job. That. Okay. It's time to put a stop to the World Eater now. Otherwise, he fears oh, the I, damage it's caused uh, oh, to the tree well, already will be too much to you handle. You see, I... Er, well... There's time to improve the Mecton before you confront the Puff. There are... It's already quite sturdy, but upgrading it will greatly improve your chances of victory. Gizmo wants to help if he can. You need to help Gizmo defeat the Jumbo Puff before it destroys the West Route. Wants you to know how great you are. Didn't have much else to say, so no problem. Gizmo wants to help if he can. Says the Netra tribe has worked harder than anyone to get respect. Says you should take it easy. Gizmo wants to help. Okay. So he wants me to defeat that thing. How about I go in my mech suit and search for Go stretch those clonky mechton legs. What is that? Hold on. Okay, that looked like a body there for a second, so that's why I zoomed in on that. C should have been stated right there in toxinol lettering. There's a lot more space down here than you would think. seem important. I've got a health pack. There's nothing in the bathroom. Found another hat. I'll just take it and sell it. scope for my for a weapon oh, I got a push button <laughs> what was that <laughs> hold on Alright. 
Seems like a peculiar item. Look at the controls in this thing. So once you get up here, it stops being an issue. This place is called Puff Duff Fluff. Boom bangs around here. Boom job. Show and gum show on. Hi. How did he go? This little fellow feels the world's on the edge of blowing itself up. He feels it's inspiring <coughs> to see someone out there still banging away at it. Mm-hmm. Figures as long as the green keeps flowing, he doesn't care where it comes from. Thinks you've built yourself up into a walking arsenal. He can't wait to see what you do with all that gunpower. Save the world or help it go kaboom. Says that even boom makers can do some good if they make the right things explode. Just think about the tinks you can destroy with earth shattering kabooms. What happens next depends on what you blow up. Says that life's kind of like a fuse. Sometimes it does just what you expect, and other times it catches you by surprise. Be careful. Wonders what you would do to put that bang back in the bomb. A lot of stuff. <laughs> Thought the world was kaboom, but it looks like something might be growing in its crater. Wonders why you put so much work into making things safer. Can't see why you join up with the myriad. They go around cutting his fuses short. Only way to improve things is to flatten them. But enough about you. Says his Muma Grandiosa taught him the secret source of making ammunition. I'm guessing that's and his great grandma. Now that there's an endless need for bangs, or his grandmother. business is booming. He was born during the baby boom back in the days, and he was so interested in the family business, he even got nicknamed Boom. He'll take the family secret with him to the grave, which could be any day now with the world ending and all. Figures that's a testament to his skills and ability to keep it together so far. You haven't blown yourself up yet. Of course he doesn't want it, but if the world goes under, he hopes it goes with a bang. But before that, he wants to make the best of the time he's got. Boom says he's always looking for ingredients for ammunition. He has enough sulfur, but he can never get too much charcoal, so if you'll get him some of that, he'll make boom exploding gunpowder just for you. Hmm. Thinks you're the straightest shooter he's ever met. Light instantly vanishes dark. So much clearer, maybe too fast. Eh. How much light do you really need? All the light, all of it. <sighs> I mean, you could leave a little space for the dark. All the light. This 
So it does not look like he has anything for me. So I'm just going to fast travel back to the one area. Let's see. Hard to see too far in the darkness. Moog asks if you know the first rule of monster haunting. It's to go... Few monsters warrant the fear we have for them. And you don't look like someone that's easily scared. You could help him... Start with one monster and take it from there. Spot its tracks and report back. Also, bring back any poo you find. His friend Bukalba says you're right. You gotta catch the light shines on. Yes, break it in half. Crack that light. It's just a break, a short pause. A break, as in broken. This can be fixed. So I think if I help him with enough quests, I get that armor that's behind him. Um, so did my mech fast travel with me too, or did I leave that? I think I left it. Okay, I gotta go back and get my mech first. Let's see. Right way to change altitude. Alright, so now... You look like you've been doing this your whole life. Really? I do, huh? Bang Shelter 7B is still there, open and ready to shelter. Found another crate. Oh, that's for, but we're gonna take it. There's not much left of what we used to call our world. Of course not. Because we destroyed it. I'm still looking for that banana, and I also can level up again, so. I found shorts.
a turlet, but I can't do anything with it. Alright, back into the mech suit. Why walk on your own legs? Well, that's it for this tunnel. Let's go out the other way. putting that on. shelter 7C2, and it's not far from where 7C is. Okay. There are tough times ahead, no matter where you go. Sphere. Hang on. Nothing in that turret. I know I say turret wrong. It's weird. Uh, scrap. Oh, here. Just trying to get enough to upgrade my sword. Should be soon. Oh, what's this? Nothing. <laughs> okay, there's stairs. Another trash can. Ooh, this trash can glowing. Oh. Nice. There's always a next time. Rare biohazard module.
thank you. Okay. What is this place? Oh, apparently it's a worship stone. Let's see. I don't know how to get my mech suit up here. I'm gonna go check out that house. That's an odd thing, don't you think? A plank place like this is a fire trap. You don't say. I'm just looking for a way in. Nothing here. Down here, you can feel protected and trapped at the same time. Looks like wholesome, a tidy little cave. Don't say. I think we're going to complete this cave and then go from there. It's a very interesting cave. I found pants. So we're gonna grab them. You always find good use for things like that. we complete this cave I'm gonna end this episode we'll make our way to the world eater another point
environmental jacket. It takes my health down though. Still nothing about this toilet. This is gold. Oh my god. The fuck? Just don't care. I can't get Beastie back here. Alright, I'll be right back. Calypso, don't do anything stupid. Just, just cut this part. <gasps> Hell no! <laughs> I don't know what it's supposed to be! What the? It's called Night Mario. <laughs> Night Mario? Night Mario. Mario? Mario away from I'm me is destroying that because uh yeah no <laughs> I am not putting that on my head. I feel like that thing's gonna come to life and like rip my face off. Oh my oh. Is that something you wanna find in a dark area where you're all by yourself? That's something you burn when you get home. It's like, 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 ugh. I'll stay on fire. <laughs> Wait, that's a mask? Yeah, that was a mask. Alright, let's get out of this cave before the rest of that thing finds me. Okay. Yeah, let's get out of here before the rest of that thing finds me, because, uh... I feel like that thing might kill me. Hunker down or keep marching on? All right, so I'm gonna... Hop out here. We're gonna go ahead and... All right, so that is all the time that I have for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for stopping in and watching. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, bye!